The Jackson County community describes 25-year-old Sydney Sutherland as a beautiful person, both inside and out. Last Wednesday, she went for a job. She never came home. Her body was found on Friday. Claire Kreitz spoke with some of Sutherland's longtime family and friends. I don't want anyone to think that Sydney's life was a tragedy because Sydney's life was beautiful. You ask just about anyone in Jackson County about Sydney Sutherland. You'll hear about an amazing woman who lived her life for others. Sydney was probably the best part of what any human wants to be. Melanie Clark says Sydney spent many days at her house with her daughters. I've been searching for this picture because it was my favorite. These three were like sisters growing up played ball together all their lives. Now she and the rest of this community want to remember the life she lived, not the life she lost. She will be remembered forever and, and not because of what happened, but because of who she was. Jordan Tyler Chapman says he's known Sydney his entire life from trips overseas to high school proms. She was right there by his side. She was one of the only people in the world that truly knew what I needed and what I like, how to make me feel better. Chapman says it still hasn't set in that there won't be more moments like this. I think it's not her. You know, it, it can't be. It's not not my friend. I just wanted to tell her how much I loved her. Wishing he had one more chance to tell her just that. He started scrolling through old pictures and came across this. I said, thank you. I love you so much. Uh, she said, I love you too, Bubba. My next message said, you're my most favorite human being ever. And then the last thing in this message says, I'm glad to know someone loves me as much as you do. For Chapman, these messages were a sign and are providing a sense of comfort through his grief. I don't know why I saw it or how I saw it, but that just shows me she's watching. She's, she's, she's watching down on me to know how much I love her and how much she loved me. Claire Kreitz reporting there. At a court appearance on Monday, 28-year-old Quake Llewellyn was jailed on suspicion of capital murder, kidnapping, and rape in the death of Sidney Sutherland. Llewellyn's next court appearance is set for October 1. Jackson County Sheriff David Lucas says Llewellyn and Sutherland knew one another.